Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. Chelsea says we got another Probably cucumber. Be good before it gets dead for like the whole plant. Yeah. And it gets smaller. I can't believe this thing is still producing, but look. Yep, there's that guy there. There's one in here. It looks like a peanut. There's. Should yeah. I just pluck all the mini ones? No. There's that one there. That one's got some. Like, it is trying really hard. These have been on here a while. They're probably no good. Oh, and there's one down there. My goodness. This cucumber, I tell you what. Can you get up the Not giving off? up. Get the pokies. You want me to get the pokies off? Yes. Pixies come out to help. Didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> How's your sock theory? Yeah, and then drag. Drag me everywhere, Daddy. How's your sock theory working out for you? Not good. She just brought me one. I thought I saw you. <laughs> doesn't play with She's these still... whatsoever. Doesn't get them unless you play with her with them. Oh, I'll grab she them won't and play. She will just go pick yeah. them up and walk around like she does with our socks. No, she still likes to get it out of the... Throw it in the basket. Throw it in the basket then. <laughs> Tuck it in the basket. She'll still bring... Asleep? She was just snoozing downstairs. Oh, she's content. Look at her. Now she's not. Happy. Creepy eyes. <laughs> she just wants you to drag her around the house. I usually, every night, I'll do circles around like the kitchen and in here she's and just, just drag her. <laughs> yeah, the, the yep. socks have yep. holes in them. You can hear them ripping. <laughs> Here, Daddy, I, I brought you my slobber-covered toy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna chew on your finger. And then I'm gonna lay on top of you oh and chew gosh, on your finger. you're so big. <laughs> she takes up more space on the couch oh, than that's you okay. do. Oh, that. Like oh. 60 pounds of, yeah. <laughs> Fluff. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> so had, Chelsea had got her that Kong for free on a yard sale. It was in a free box and she absolutely loves it. I think it's for maybe for goats or, or something like goats. I don't know, like a bigger animal. They make them for horses and everything. Uh, or maybe it's just for large dogs. I don't know. She goes nuts over it. <laughs> and she likes, she likes you to play fetch with it and throw it and it just bounces. And she brought it to Michael. She just like flops it down in his lap. Mm. Well, that's a lovely sound. You <laughs> <laughs> can see her face. <laughs> She's doing the thing where she like, oh my gosh, cocks her head to the side. Oh, Ed's got to come check it out. He might not even be able to hear it. <laughs> tough. Oh, poor Ed. What? What's that? No, no, now Go she wants and now she Go wants get to it. get it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Daddy. <laughs> Do something. There's no <laughs> she's just standing on you. She uh, oh, sitting on your chest. Uh-huh. Actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't can you breathe? <laughs> yeah, she's only like half on my chest. So she loves to uh, sit. Uh, <laughs> Sit on your chest, and it's like I can't even breathe when she's sitting on me. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! Now, Pix <laughs> poor Michael. Oh my gosh! Now Pixie's going after Eddie. Now Eddie's gonna bite Pixie, and Michael's gonna be in the middle of it all. And Michael's gonna I'm not get in bit. the middle. I'm right under the middle. You're under it. <laughs> under it. Don't bite me. Bite him. Okay, so <laughs> you ripped the whole like package all that's around it, the outside. That's how it came off. Oh. It had a pull tab and it went from the top all the way down. And when I pulled it, the whole thing came off. I didn't intentionally mean to do that. So I ran out of the snow cone flavored icebreakers gum. I think it was like a summer 4th of July-ish type. That 
was my favorite flavor of gum, like ever. Like, okay, so it was flavored like a snow cone. It tasted like a snow cone. So like when you get a snow cone, the traditional red. Red, white, and blue. Yellow, blue, red, white, and blue? Red, white, and blue, I think it was. Oh, okay. Um, that's what it tasted like. It was so good. Every night um, I chew a piece of gum like after Chelsea goes downstairs and goes to bed, Michael and I watch TV. <laughs> because Chelsea going to bed downstairs is relevant to you chewing gum. Well, no, it's just, <laughs> it's like our, it's like Michael and I's like downtime to watch a show or whatever. And I so just that's, always that's have- that's why you chew gum. Uh, no, because... I just, I like to chew gum. It used to be that I would sit down and have a snack. Remember, like years ago. And then Michael and I kind of started doing this like no eating, like late at night stuff. And it's made a huge difference in like the way we feel and everything. So anyway, to have something, I like to chew gum. So I got the raspberry sorbet at Target. I, nothing's gonna compare to the snow cone cause that's the best. And I thought about going online and seeing if I could find some. But I do like it. Michael doesn't like raspberry. Mm. They're all, it's okay flavor. Like I, I used to like raspberry jelly. I'll occasionally pop a couple like fresh raspberries, but like, I yeah, think you should try else. it. Like, I'm not going to pressure you into it, no. but, um, because it's not overwhelmingly raspberry flavored. It's just sweet, sweet berry flavored, I guess. But it is good. I like it better than some of the other flavors that we've tried. I would say it takes second place to the snow cone flavor. Although I do like the candy cane or the, what is it's it? It's just peppermint. Peppermint? Like you can, I get, do like the you peppermint. can get normal peppermint and then they have the special edition like at Christmas time. Or yeah, whatever. so if you like mint, the peppermint is really good. But if you like fruity, the snow cone's number one and this is number two. But I do think you should try it because I don't think it's overwhelmingly raspberry. I pressured him into Pure it. Pressure. <laughs> I actually only got a half. How do you have like a half of icebreakers gum? You bite it in half. <laughs> yeah, see, I just don't like berry flavor stuff. No? Hmm. If I chew it, I like orange gum. Well, there's something else that's- Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. Just, and just plain bubble gum, right? No, I hate bubble gum. That was, Chelsea chose that. Oh, that was Chelsea's. Like hmm. pink, traditional, yeah. bubble gum flavor. No, I don't like it either. I chewed it to get rid of it because I don't know how it's been in there for what? A year? It's gone now, I think, didn't I? I, I didn't I, I finish it? it I finished the rest oh, of it because I ran out of my snow cone. I didn't have anything else <laughs> and I didn't. No, I don't like a don't plain like old. Berry flavor. I don't like bubble gum flavor. I'll chew this, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay guys, it's time for shout out Saturday from Find It Friday. Yesterday, Chelsea's black cat pumpkin was in the back of Michael's hoodie when he was on the little bicycle merry-go-round. Like, I don't even know what you would call that thing. <laughs> so this week's shout out goes to Albert Blakemore who says Chelsea's black cat is located in the back of Mike's hood on the bike ride at Mueller's Orchard. So congratulations to Albert Blackmore on your shout out. And if you guys want a chance for a shout out, tune in next week for Find It Friday.